Mr. Corrida, have you gotten your the hadith? Yes, sir. All right. Can you read it out slowly and clearly? Narrated by Abu Iraira, Allah's apostle said, By him in whose soul, in whose hand my soul is, surely Jesus, the son of Mary, will soon descend among you and will judge mankind justly as a judge ruler. He will break the cross and kill the pigs and there will be no jizya taxation taken from non-Muslim. Money will be in abundance so that nobody will accept it. And a single prostration to Allah in prayer will be better than the old world and whatever is in it. Abu Iraira added, if you wish, you can recite this verse of the Holy Book. And there is none of the people of the scriptures, Jews and Christians, but must believe in him, Jesus, as an apostle of Allah and a human being before his dirt. And on the day of judgment, it will be of it will be a witness against them. Sohi Buhari, volume 4, Adit number 657. Here is my question. Sir, this Adit mentions the fact that Jesus Christ is going to judge mankind, as in judge, a judge, judge mankind. Please, you as a Muslim, do you believe that Jesus will judge you? That's my question. Brother, that's a very good question. He's quoted the question on the first part of the hadith but hasn't paid attention to the second part of the hadith. The first part of the hadith says that Jesus Christ in the second coming will come and will judge humankind and will break the cross and would kill the pig and would abolish the attacks. He would pray and then it says people will agree that he is the apostle of mankind. He is the messenger of God. That is the reply. That means as I told in my earlier answer many people misunderstood that Jesus Christ peace be upon him claimed divinity. So in his second coming he will come as a follower of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He will judge that mankind who says that he is God. Like how you consider him to be God. There are many Christians who consider him God. So he will tell this mankind. This mankind, he was never God. Oh, Abdullah, worship Allah. Rabbi wa Rabbukum. My Lord and your Lord. This is mentioned in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 116. On that day when people will say, so he will say that, Oh, Abdullah, worship Allah. Rabbi wa Rabbukum. Who's my Lord and your Lord. Same thing in this hadith, it says that he will be called as the apostle of God. That people will agree that he was the messenger of God, but not God. So he will judge the Christians, the mankind who are Christian. That he never claimed divinity, but worship Allah and worship him alone. And he will bow down and pray to Allah. So where's the question of he being God? When he's bowing, who's bowing to? He's bowing to God. So this hadith clearly clarifies that Jesus was a messenger. And he will come and clarify that he was the messenger of God and not God himself. Hope that answers the question. So you said in your statement or your response that mankind means Christian. Now, I don't need to go into dictionary. We don't need to go into much discussion of what the meaning of the word mankind means. And mankind is used several verses in the Quran. Are you going to say that the mankind is also referring to a, a, a set of people? This place says Jesus will judge mankind. But you said that's Christian. Brother, I don't understand that. I said he will judge the Christians who falsely claim him to be God. Today also there are many people judging mankind. Every judge in a Muslim country judging mankind. So does it make him God? He will judge. What is wrong in that? Every Khalifa at his time he judges. Today also in an Islamic court of law, the judge is judging mankind. What is wrong in that? Yes, he will even judge the other non-Christians also. What is wrong in that? Wow. But this specifically it is referring to if he judges mankind, he will judge. He will be a judge. So what is wrong in being a judge? Today, there are many judges in the country, in the world. So that doesn't make them God. So like you, people like you who will yet think he's God, that's the reason the hadith completes and says he's messenger of God. So when it's clearly mentioned, so you may think, ah, judging mankind means he's God. So people like you will yet have the sickness. That's the reason in the hadith it is mentioned that he is apostle of God. To clarify people like you who will mistranslate and twist the word. Thank you very much for answering the fact that he is going to judge other non-Muslim. And the question I pose to you, sir, is, do you agree, according to this idea, that he's going to judge you? That's the question I asked. Whether the question would be not that will he judge me? I don't know whether I'll be that time or not. I don't know whether I'll live to that time or not. And when he comes, I'll have to believe that that is Isa alayhi salam. If I don't believe, I won't be called as a Muslim. Anyone when Mehdi alayhi salam comes and Isa alayhi salam comes, if you join the group, you will be given Basharat of Jannah. There are many hadith. I have to believe in them. If I don't believe, then I'll be wrong. So where's the question? Thank you.